About one year ago, my family purchased a late 1800s abandoned captain's quarters, and we always wonder about all the stories and all of the history that have happened on our acreage. Hey guys, look at our house. How is this our house? So today we decided that as a family we were going to go and look for some signs of spring around our property and we discovered something that we want to excavate and see what's here. In the past, I would say about five or six months ago, Philip found a little grave pit of a bunch of really old glass. The weirdest thing, I'm walking through the woods and I'm following this little game trail that comes up here and then there's a a beautiful little stream let me show you it goes down to the river and I just found a graveyard of bottles just hundreds and hundreds of these really really old bottles and these bottles some of them were already broken but some of them were you know totally intact and we were able to get a bunch of them out of the ground the green tent look not broken? No. Ooh, that's nice. Looks like a little mini milk jug or something. Nice find. Look at the little spout and the little handle. Oh wow. This might be one of my favorite. I think this one might be my favorite. I also really like this one because it kind of looks like a seashell on the side. And then these ones are amazing. There's lids for them and it says <laughs> safety seal. There's like the mini one made in Canada. And then we have the perfect seal made in Canada ones. I'm gonna look up how old they are. We have a good luck, really neat one with the horseshoe. And we've done some research to find out what some of them are, but we just uncovered a whole other plot that we didn't even know was here. And I saw this really cool jar with the texture across the top right off the bat, which led us to finding quite a few more that are already kind of sticking up out of the ground here. I'm gonna move some of this brush here and try to get some of these out and if you step anywhere on the ground here you just hear that it would be glass underneath so I'm expecting that there's a lot under here that we can't see because this is such an old property dating back to the late 1800s you never know how old some of these bottles or other things that we might find might be in the ground so this is kind of exciting but right off the bat there's a bunch here we're just gonna box up so we can kind of look them up and get the glass out of the way this looks like an old glass barrel. The bugs are... It even has something written on the side. This is an old Canadi uh, Canada Dry. This one cap says Canada Dry. <laughs> yeah, some might be not as but, old as others. Yeah. But I don't want to step on anything that's crunchy, but I think it was more in these mounts. Like, I can see, look at the glass bottle sticking up there. Look at the little... I think this would have been like an old cream, face cream bottle or something with the blue glass. Oh, wow. That blue is incredible. Oh, that's amazing. And this is a Bacardi one. I don't think that one's very old. <laughs> <laughs> not ours, Maybe. but definitely not old. Before I get any of these, I want to see if I can get those ones there up. So I don't want to step on anything. Right? Yeah. That one's got a really cool pattern on the top. This one has stuff in it still. Bigger than that. <laughs> what do you think it is? It looks like an old spray baby. Mm -hmm. There's bottles under here, I can see them. Oh, it's a big bottle. That's amazing. Oh, that's so cool. <laughs> <laughs> that's a cool Look one. at the little ledges on the end. Put it in the tub. Put them in the, the put this one in the tub too because they're, these ones are really neat. I don't want to back up into them. 
can hear so much glass under here and the roots move. There's like, I think there's more underneath. Yeah, there's. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, there's. Look at this. Just a burial down there. What? I don't know. What is this? Oh, oh wow. A base, maybe from an old Whoa. lamp? Uh, yeah, or a light, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my. Like, they buried a whole lamp? <laughs> oh. Something here. I got another really cool I mean, jar. This one has really neat little circles around it. What would that be from? Along the bottom end. It says McLaren's. This one has a name on the bottom. This one says McLaren's. And, oh, look at the pattern on the top. The diamonds. That's so cool. There's more of them? Oh, there's multiple. Oh, these are so cool. Treasures. <laughs> Treasure pile. I'm going in, I'm going in deep. Going Careful, in deep. hun. Careful. Look at this has never been touched. Yeah, I know. I'm going. Tree. I'm just trying to get from the other angle. Wow, look at all this stuff, eh, So much. What do you think? Oh, wow, this one. What were they thinking? Look at how cool the bottom is with the little oh, handheld things in it. Philly, look. Type of wine. Look at the little nose in the bottom, but the back's broken. Oh, that's too bad. Wow, these are crazy. Look at this cool one. Look at that one with the pattern on it. Whoa. Oh, is that one broken? No. Oh, that's nice. Can you put that one in? Yeah, I can. I can. Oh, found another one. Tool for back here. Oh, I found another lighter. Oh, Ooh, a Zippo. I found another Whoa. Zippo. Yeah, really old one. Let's look it up. Okay. Can I see the lighter? Let's see. Hold on, let me see if I can see. Uh, this comes out. No? Oh, that's cool. Look at all these old liquor bottles I'm finding. Oh, it's got a name on it. What does it say? Look at this little one. Lighter? Or, oh. No. Why not? It has cool little symbols on it. I like it. It's really cool. I want to put this one in the bin. This one. Show Chase that one. What kind of thing would that be? Is that, would that be a liquor one? Oh, look at that. And in the bin too. It could be like medicine. Yeah, it looks like an old medicine jar, yeah, maybe. That's what I right? Was thinking, yeah. I was thinking the same thing. It's just, it's small enough I to have, have like. To be a tool hog. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just trying to get this. I, I'm just kidding. Here. I was just kidding. I just keep finding oh this. Oh my gosh, I can see like an amazing jar back there. How do I get back there? Yeah. <laughs> How am I going to get that? I'm going in. Do we have our metal detector seeing this? Or? Do you want to go get it, Dave? Eh? Um, so I was just in the little spider web. Yeah. And two birds went on branches, like, beside me. They were sitting beside you? Like, they were, like, on trees that were, like, really close. Oh, yeah, they were, like, really white cool. birds yeah. with, like, gray, grayish weight. Oh, my. Cool design. Oh, it's cracked. Watch your knees, babe. I am. I was reaching for a really cool jar, but it's totally broken. The coolest. Definitely. The excavating. Oh, wow. Looks like it has grapes on it. It's just weaved in with the the roots. Oh, there's, there's another, another bottle there. Well, that's nice. Does oh. it grapes on it? It has grapes on it with these cool stripes around the. See the grapes? Oh, wow. 
does it have anything on it? Oh, that would have been... <laughs> That would have been delicious wine, I'm sure. <laughs> that one's really cool. We haven't found one like that. That one's so cool. It's got a little chip out of the top, but how cool is that? There's a few here that I want. I really wanted to get that one out because look at how cool the pattern is. Oh. We're still excavating right here, but we found a whole bunch of really amazing looking bottles. We're gonna definitely try and date some of these. But this one's got some grapes on it. This one has a cool. Oh, they're just so neat. Oop. What's this one got? They're all a little different. Cool. And I found, this one's just, like, really... Fancy. Fancy. I want to try back there. I can see a few more, but I worry to step on anything. So, this one says, uh, Valentine's, and it's got liquid in it. I wouldn't want to try it, but the font on it is amazing. I want to see him coming. Look at this one. It says Valentine's. Oh, that's Never nice. Never heard of that. There's a lot of glass back here. So really here. <laughs> no, I kind of did over here, so I want to get... Because this is just all seems to be tree roots, but there's some bottles peeking up right back there that I want to get to. I thought I was coming back for the cool jar. I think I already carried out any super cool ones except for these two. Now in the other spot we were searching, we did find, like what if I'm blues? That was probably the dirtiest face wipe of all. <laughs> okay. um, we found blues and we found really neat yellows. What other colors did we find? When we were doing the first ones, they are so cool. And we found that amazing old, uh, Javex bottle. Like I think there was really just cool more one. blues and the, there was more a couple colors. yellows and there yeah. was lots more greens over there and the red burgundy bottles. But, but over here these we have some that are some really cool Fancy, shapes. yeah. And what I'm thinking is, is that we're obviously going to do some research on some of these. This one says the Procter & Gamble Company. I know that, that name. Okay, this I have no idea what this could be, but I'm excited to find out what this jar is. Okay, this one says just some numbers, but I really wish I could make out the cap. But it has some like numbers on the bottom. This one I thought was neat, it said brim. Like you found that one on there. The ones with the wine, but we found these little medicine kind of styled ones. Look at, they're so cool. There's a few more little ones. This one was a really cool shape. So what I'm thinking is, is that we want to be able to keep a few of these. And since we're about to work on our pantry for our kitchen renovation, my thought is, is that we're going to pick some of our favorite jars that we've excavated from our property, wash them up as best as we possibly can. And if we find any information of them, we could put them on like a little scroll, put them in the jars and then put them up on the shelf in our pantry room. I thought yeah. that would be so cute because I have a little wood DIY sort of peg shelf idea that I want to do, be able to display a few of these. I just think it's just so nice to have these, I, even if we never find find out what some of them are it's still so cool and this isn't the only spot like no. we see little piles of we're gonna call it like garbage graveyard and like I said our house is built in the late 1800s there was a captain that owned this house it was built they had a lot of people that came here and actually like did hosted for events I think especially things with the church and in our local community so goodness knows who drank from some of these bottles <laughs> or who brought them as like a housewarming gift or as an evening party gift or something just to feel like there's so much history between all these bottles 
maybe even the pickle jars were eaten by someone really cool. Like who knows? But I just love that we have these little time capsules on our property and we've literally only found a few of them. And because we don't always have time to come out here and just like dig for bottles. But I think it's something we're gonna take a little more seriously and try to get a little more of this really dug up. Because not only do we wanna clean it out of the woods, but we wanna find out where are some of these really cool things. And unfortunately, a few of them are already broken under the ground. But so I'm thinking when they came out and trashed them, they didn't care about the bottle. So they probably just hucked them into a pile and they kinda got broke. But there's some really neat ones that I think will be really cool to take in. Like, I love this one. And unfortunately, this one has a few cracks on it but it actually hasn't affected the integrity of the jar. And since I wouldn't be filling anything in it, I just think like some of these hairline cracks that look like from the inside, it's still all there. What does it say? Uh, just has a bunch of numbers on it and there's like a little symbol, but with an H sort of on it. It looks like, it looks like an anchor with an H. Hmm. Really neat, but cool jars. We uncovered so many bottles today. If you know any information about any of these bottles, leave it in the comment section down below. And if you enjoyed this video, comment, like, and don't forget to subscribe or even use our new super thanks button to help support our channel.